Suppose you buy one ticket for a dollar out of a lottery of a thousand tickets where the prize for the one winning ticket is to be $500. So the winner, the single ticket that wins, wins $500. What are your expected winnings? Now, I'm going to write some of this thing, that, some of this stuff down right away just so we're all on the same page. I'm going to let X stand for uh, the expected winnings, how much I expect to win, or how much the person who bought the ticket expects to win. Now, once you do that, there are only two ways, if you're a person with a ticket, there are only two ways this can turn out. You can either lose or you can win. Now, if you lose, what have you lost? Well, all you lost is the dollar you spent to buy the ticket. So your loss would be negative one dollar, or your expect winnings would be negative one dollar negative indicating that it's a loss. On the other hand, what if you win? Well, you say, well, I win $500. Well, you do win $500, but really, you didn't net $500 because the ticket cost you a dollar, so you really only netted $499. So from an expected winning point of view, you either lose a dollar or you win $499. That's the net you make. That's the only two things that can happen. So. From that, I can set up the PDF. The PDF gives me the values of X, the possible values of X, and the probability that they occur. Well, like I said, there are only two possible ways that this can turn out. You're either going to win or lose. So, well, let's do the loss first, as I wrote it first earlier. So X could either be negative one, that means you lost the dollar, or x is equal to 499. You won $500, subtract off the dollar you had to pay for the ticket. But now, what's the probability of this happening? There's only one winning ticket, so if you look at the winning first, there's only one ticket out of the thousand that would give you a win. So the probability of winning is one out of a thousand. The rest of the tickets are losers. So there's a chance, 999 out of a thousand chance you're going to lose. So there's your PDF. Very simple. You lose a dollar or you win $499. The probability of winning that 499 is one ticket out of a thousand. The rest of the tickets are losers. Now, when you're calculating an expected value a, a row, which is the product of x times p of x. So you get negative 1 times 999 over 1,000 would be negative 999 over 1,000. And then 499 times 1 over 1,000 is 499 over 1,000. And by definition, the expected value of x is the sum of these two numbers. So it's negative 999 out of 1,000 plus this one, 499 out of 1,000. Now they have a common denominator of 1,000, so if you take negative 999 and add positive 499, you, ended up, you end up with an expected value of negative 500 out of 1,000. Now, 500 out of 1,000 is a half, so it's negative a half, but you don't have to know that. If you take negative 500 on your calculator and divide it by 1,000, you'll come out with negative 0 0.50 dollars. Well, 0.50 dollars is 50 cents. So basically what you're saying is your expected winning is negative, which is a loss. That dollar sign looks terrible, but anyway. So you end up with the expected loss, that negative means a loss, a negative 0.50. In other words, you expect to lose 50 cents. So expected winnings for that lottery is actually a loss of negative 0.5, which is negative 50 cents.